What is good, YouTube man? Today I'm back with you guys with the nation for another video. And today, 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 we are back. And this time with some news, some good news on potentially getting an Adamican Sue. Now, listen. Adama Kitsu has recently just appeared on ESPN uh, today as a guest appearance for their show. He was asked about the Buccaneers. He basically said that that window's closed. Now, he was asked about the Raiders, and he immediately started to smile. He was told how the Raiders have $20 plus million dollars in cap space, how they have Chandler Jones and Max Crosby. He even went on and said that him and Max Crosby have been recently exchanging some messages. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys from the man himself, Adamican Sue. Let's get this done, Raiders. Go ahead and check this out by the man himself. Hear it for yourself. Chargers. Or I'm going to try another team. This uh -oh. is my new oh. bet. Duncan, how about the Raiders? $20 million oh. in cash space right Thank now. This. Rebuilt offense to compete okay. in the AFC West. We love no that tax situation. <laughs> An interior defensive line, to me, jumps out as a real need on this team because, of course, you got Max Crosby and Chandler Jones on the outside. What do you think? I like it, uh, to be honest with you. Chandler Jones and Max Crosby, uh, I was exchanging messages with them the other day. Oh. Uh, it's Ooh. it's an interesting opportunity for sure. We'll see where it kind of ends up, but it could be that NFC West is strong. I mean, the NFC West is very, very yeah. tough, which would be fun. You get out of that, you're almost destined to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, the funny thing is... They don't have as much cap space as the Chargers. Or I'm going to throw out another team. Uh -huh. What do you guys think? The man himself. Now, he said a few things that uh, obviously makes a lot of sense, right? Um, this is a very, very competitive division. And I kind of agree. Whoever makes it out on top is probably then a Super Bowl contender, um, even, even if they are a wild card team. Whoever makes it out of the top of this division, they're – they're destined. They're destined. He was saying some facts, but something that always has to come back to the fact is he's older, right? He's going to want to get paid. Now, shout out to Cassie Soto for bringing up our cap situation. It is definitely a scenario that can be done. Now, him saying that him and Max Crosby has been exchanging messages, man, I hope that this can get done. This would help our young secondary so so much. Like I was saying earlier, the Buccaneers door has closed. They signed Akeem Hicks. It's looking like the Cleveland Browns door has closed. They drafted Perion Winfrey. I believe they also just signed a um, another interior defense alignment a few weeks back. It's looking like the Las Vegas Raiders are out there. It's looking like he would be excited on coming here. It's an opportunity that is definitely out on the table right now. The guys are away. The guys are away from the from the building. Um, everybody's on break. Everybody's having a nice uh, vacation, so to speak. But very, very, very interesting to see Adama Kinsu's reaction to potentially joining the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, one more thing I want to talk about. Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, great. But something that is a small worry. We have Bilal Nichols on this roster who we just signed on the two-year $11 million deal. Um, we were expecting big things, and it's coming out now that there's a possible injury. Hopefully it doesn't sideline him for too long from what I've heard from other people. Um, he should be good to go for the season. Now, Jonathan Hankins, he said it himself on an interview um, that he probably won't be playing much in the preseason because of his his injury, his surgery, his work that he got done. Now, we have some decent depth, right? We got our young guys that, that we just drafted with Matthew Butler and Neil Farrell. Outside of those guys, <clears throat> it's just depth. So if you bring in an Adamican Sue to cause havoc, this defensive line would look so much better. In my opinion, I'd start the deal off from $7 million. <clears throat> work your way up from there or work your way down. Give them some guaranteed money. I'm all for it. Hearing the man himself speak is extremely, extremely exciting. Hopefully we can get this done and possibly also get a Waller extension done too. What do you guys think about that? But Red Nation, I wanted to update you guys on this situation because it's something that we've been very interested on. So that'll be it for today's video. As always, if you are new and you like Raiders updates, Raiders content, Raiders film, everything Raiders related, hit that subscribe button and join the family. 
As always, you guys, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Stay safe. And I am out. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star, where our opponent's dreams come to die.